I prepared, I watched all the videos on the speed. I completed all the, <laughs> I, I prepared my own notes, sir. I, I usually, I don't write notes, I type it. So I made a word format of all the notes, I mean, all the videos. And I used to revise it multiple times. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute uh, to Dr. Bana Sai Krishna Reddy for yes, scoring sir. a very good rank of 37 uh, in DM Medical Oncology Group. Yes. A neat SS session 2024. Congratulations to you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Great to have you in the session. And you, uh, can we know your detailed background of your uh, course, yes, where you started, yes, what you have done? Sure, sir. I'm uh, from Karnul district, sir, Andhra Pradesh. I did my MBBS from Karnul Medical College, which is a government college in Andhra Pradesh. After finishing my MBBS, I have uh, done my MD medicine from uh, Sri Ramachandra Medical College, Chennai, sir. I have finished my MD there. And uh, after finishing there, I have done my SR shift for one year in DY Patil Medical College, Pune. After finishing my SR shift, now currently I'm working as assistant professor in the medicine department in DY Patil, Pune, sir. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. And now, why medical oncology as your superficiality of your choice? Yes, sir. Sure. Medical oncology was never in my mind uh, till the last day of my uh, MD, sir. Uh, I always used to think about, uh, like every month in each specialty posting, I used to think about that subject. I would like, if I, I, this month I was posted in gastro, I would, I would be like, I'll become gastroenterologist. Next month, cardio, I'll, I'll be like, no, cardio is my branch. So I was keep on changing branches till the end. So I was not clear why I'm changing branches. So maybe I thought I like more medicine than individual subspecialties. So I thought I will be uh, sufficient with medicine and I thought I'll practice medicine. But one day I was listing all the pros and cons of all the branches. Sir. Like I, I made a table on the left hand side. I, I have written all the branches in the right hand, right hand side. What are the points in favor and against the branch? So in that way, every time I used to do that process, I was writing medical uncle at the last. And I used to strike it out. I don't even write pro. I didn't. I don't even used to write pro or con. So then I was uh, surprised. Why am Why am I doing like like this? Why I am not uh, writing any points for medical onco? Then I started reading medical onco after finishing my MD. I was actually I was a speed subscriber for uh, gastro sir. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> in second year of my MD, I took speed gastro, and I was. Uh, they, I was not uh, watching videos seriously. I was just uh, seeing even an uh, up and uh, on and off live videos. Once there was a live video of prostate cancer by Santosh. Uh, the, at that time, I I saw that video and I liked it a lot. Like it was more medical. It was a proper medical branch. It was having you know it gives us a, a, a edge to practice medicine uh, along with a super specialty, which is not possible in all the branches. Like a, a cancer patient with uh, chemotherapy, they get more complications. They get fever, they get, you know, AKA, they get heart failure. So all these can be managed in a super specialty. So it's like medicine with add -up. So then I made my mind, I have to go with the uh, arm group. So in 2023, September, I gave need, sir. That was a common paper. At that time, I got a rank of 1700. Uh, so with that, I was getting ongoing DNB. Uh, so, but uh, my wife was pregnant at that time, so I wanted to support her and uh, I thought, okay, next time if I prepare and write, I will get a better rank. So I took a break and then in October, uh, I after AIMS, I didn't write October AIMS in 2023. After the AIMS, I decided next April, May, there will be AIMS. I will write for medical arm. I prepared for medical arm go and gave that AIMS seriously. I prepared, I watched all the videos on the speed. I completed all the, <laughs> I, I prepared my own notes, sir. I, I usually, I don't write notes, I type it. So I made a word format of all the notes, I mean, all the videos. And I used to revise it multiple times. Like in a week, I will complete it. Whatever I studied in Monday to Saturday, I will revise it on Sunday. So like that, I used to repeat it every week. And in two and a half months, I completed all the videos. So then I was ready to go. Uh, but the thing is, I did not uh, see the general parts at that time. So mostly paper was general, sir, in uh, final. So okay. I lost it by one mark. <clears throat> then I thought, okay, AIMS is not my thing. I'll just prepare for common paper. And my uh, and I was blessed with baby in July last Congratulations. year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So at the time, I couldn't study also. My baby was there. I, there were sleepless nights and all. So I thought, okay, we'll just prepare for common paper. Next year, there will be common paper. Since they postponed the need uh, last year. So I gave up on Amco, I'll write common paper. If I get good rank, I'll take in good uh, oncology department, college. 
So then in September, I started preparing for one month common paper. I started with again cardio, gastro, rheumatic side by side, three subjects uh, weekly already. Then at the, by the end of September, I think there was a notification that uh, they are changing the pattern again back to Amco. Okay, then I didn't know whether it is a blessing or not because I have completed most of the Amco videos by that time. So I thought it is a blessing to me and uh, I started revising what I all I read and I was thorough with that and I gave the exam, sir, I cleared it. And last times also I've done, I got uh, rank uh, uh, 27 or 28, I forgot, sir. But uh, I was getting a peripheral aims, I didn't take it. I gave I gave up the seat and wrote neat essays and got selected. Very good. Great achievement. You have been persistent enough to achieve what you wanted. Thank you, sir. Very good. Very like, good. Uh, since my MD, I used to follow the speed, sir. I used to watch the videos, all the topper interviews you used to take. It's like, <laughs> uh, it, it felt really good. Every time it is like a motivation to study. Yes, that's the reason why this is taken. And when somebody is seeing your video, they will get motivated. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, on, yes. off, on, off. Then God, then no. Then I go on to this. <laughs> yes, I, I should appreciate the zeal, sir. Your zeal, I would appreciate that, sir. Yes. It's great. Now, uh, the number of questions you answered in the exam. All, sir. Full 150. strike. 150. Great. Now, uh, can you tell us the, about the paper? What did they ask you? They all for all oncology or a mix of general medicine or something? Can you tell us on the paper? Sir, it was like a medical onco, proper medical onco related questions. There was no radiation questions. And all the questions were linked to medicine, sir. Like most of them, not all the questions, around 30 to 35 questions. They are linked to medicine. Like uh, it's not like a, a proper radiation background. People may feel them difficult. Like that it, it was having some edge for medicines. And the paper was uh, moderate to uh, uh, hard, sir. So, the entire 150 question was only oncology, correct? Yes, total oncology. Nothing else? Nothing else. That's what I wanted to know. And so, the students will be, uh, want to know, should I prepare general medicine? Should I prepare general radiation oncology? Nothing. No, uh, general radiation, uh, some, no radiation. I mean, in this paper, there was no radiation, not even one question, sir. Ge proper general onco, sir. Not even like they didn't ask any hi fi things. Very basic, very basic to very basics. The book, which from which book? Uh, sir, it's David, sir. Actually, questions are after I didn't study from David, but after uh, completing the exam, if I gone back and checked what all questions went wrong, they're all in the David. So, uh, up to you, date, sir, and okay. also up to date. So, you are uh, preparation of basically a lot of videos. Yes. I huh? didn't study any textbook. I did only review questions of uh, Devita and Bethesda. Okay. Good. So, the content was uh, adequate enough for you to go for the exam? Yes. Confident. Sir. Since uh, most of the medicine people uh, will not be having Onco background, they may they might feel uh, it may not be enough. But whatever it is there in uh, videos, that is more than enough, sir. If you can revise it multiple times and if you can... Uh, be sure that whatever comes from the notes, you should mark it right. Yeah, that is and also it is correct. Now, for see, David is not a PG book; it's a super specialty book. Yes. Sir. How people can learn that? It cannot learn. It's, a, it's very difficult <laughs> to read. Sir. You cannot keep a track on it. How possible? Not possible. Not Even possible. if you three years also, three years also, not possible. Yes. Yes. Sir. Huh? So yes, sir. it it has to be helped. Actually, the student has to be helped. Uh, in someone like uh, I mean, Dr. Santosh and faculties, other faculties in Speed Medical yes. Institute. The decode, whatever important yes. thing for the exam. Yes. Put it here, put it here, put it here, put it yes. here. Read, go, attend the exam. Get Even if seat. you take three years, you cannot uh, finish it with the 100% contents. David yes. does. Very good. So, very good and uh, very impressive. And what will be your advice for the future aspirants of DM Medical Onco? Uh, so, if I, I am not sure about the radiation oncology department people, sir. From medicine, I know many people might consider uh, Medank later in their options. So, I want them to rethink why they are considering it later and then decide what they want. If they want to do medical onco, then it should be from basics, from drugs. Great. Now, time to thank and whom all you want to thank from day one till date who have helped you to achieve what you are today. I want to thank my parents, sir. My father and mother, they have believed in me since my childhood. And I like, uh, they made me a doctor. And after that, they have, they have made me study MD medicine. And then they trusted me to, and they pushed me to do this medical oncology. And also, I want to thank my wife, sir. She was very supportive all throughout pregnancy. She was there with me. And she supported me. And she told me that you can crack it. You have uh, good concepts. You can crack it. So just be focused. Okay. I want to thank you. Very good. So, once again, we congratulate you, wish you all the best and all the success for a great career ahead. Thank you, sir. 
thank you so much uh, in uh, dm uh, medical oncologists and medical oncologists you're going to do great and amazing service to the people thank you so much sir thank you so much best wishes to you doctor thank you sir. thanks